The U.S. death toll from COVID-19 has just topped 900,000. This is Philadelphia police are trying to figure out who stole vaccination cards and N95 masks from a Penn Hospital vaccine clinic and for what purpose. Our Jeff Cole is live in Center City tonight with more on this. Jeff. Yeah, the purpose is likely to put them on the street. It's a pattern that we've seen across the country. They actually sell these cards to people who want the cards, want to claim that they're vaccinated, but apparently do not want the shots. Pennsylvania Hospital's vaccine clinic is located in the 200 block of South 8th Street. The health system says its storage room is open to all staff who need N95 masks, and the federal government issued vaccination cards given to those who've received their shots. It appears someone crossed the line. So when people steal these, these vaccine cards or use fake ones, they're putting the lives of people at risk. According to Philadelphia Police, the senior director of the vaccine clinic came to investigators on Tuesday, January 25th to report the theft of vaccination cards from the storage room. James Garrow is a spokesperson for the Philadelphia Department of Public Health, the lead agency battling COVID-19 in the city. He says, is someone using a bogus vaccine vaccination card catches the virus, there's danger. If they get COVID, they could spread it to other people who are unable to be vaccinated. There are still plenty of immunocompromised people in Philadelphia who can't be vaccinated, and if they get COVID, could end up in the hospital. Police say the number of cards stolen is unknown, while a broadcast report puts the number at 5,000. In a statement, a Penn Medicine spokesperson writes, safety and security are top priorities in all our facilities. When the issue was discovered, we promptly reported it to the Philadelphia police and are cooperating fully with the ongoing investigation. And just last week, two Long Island nurses were accused of selling fake vaccination cards and entering them into a state database, churning profits of one and a half million bucks. I think it's sad that people would resort to that. I wish they would just get the vaccines and help all of us to get better and get over this virus. The city health department reports 79.2% of Philadelphia residents are fully vaccinated, but the grim statistic is that COVID has claimed 4,614 lives in Philly. The theft and possible sale of vaccination cards only adds to the pain. It undercuts your efforts to vaccinate this community, correct? It does. And uh, like I said, that's the disappointing part of this, uh, is that it's there's there's an easy solution. We can get past the pandemic if everybody just does their little bit. Now, remember, these vaccination cards are produced by the federal government. Get caught, you likely get a federal charge. Also, if you buy an illegal vaccine card, you're paying for it. The vaccines are free. Live in Center City, I'm Jeff Cole, Fox 29 News. Chris. Thank you, Jeff.